The main theme of this book is witch hunt, mystery, and supernatural. It does not involve mainstream Marvel DC, so there is no Iron Man, no Batman, and no Black Widow, Red Witch, Hydra, Shield, and the movies that appear are mostly mysterious slash mythical. Slash urban legends are the main ones. All settings are based on the settings in this book. They should be as close to the original as possible. There are some changes. Please don't take it too seriously. Little Haiti, as a community in Miami, Florida, got its name from the immigration wave in the 1980s and gradually evolved into a synonym for violence, crime, and poverty. The influx of a large number of illegal immigrants has made the law and order of this community extremely chaotic. Guns are rampant, gangs are rampant, robbery, gunfights, and firefights are not uncommon. Those who are not local residents can't imagine how many crimes are hidden under the bright and beautiful appearance of this city. In fact, even the local residents, few people really understand the darkness and terror of this city. In late autumn, it was already a bit bleak, and the coming of night made people feel inexplicably cold and desolate, and the pedestrians on the streets became less and less because of this, and only some gang members were left. In the tail or in the dark alley, there are malicious eyes flashing. Suddenly, a 1967 STYLE Chevrolet Impala slowly drove into the block. The unfamiliar license plate made the eyes of the group of people gathered in the dark corner suddenly light up, like a pack of wolves staring at their prey, undisguised. Reveals his hunger and greed. Due to its long disrepair, the road conditions in this neighborhood are very poor. There is sewage flowing on the ground with potholes, all kinds of plastic garbage can be seen everywhere, and there are even some bullet marks and bloodstains, so this Chevrolet is not driving fast and a group of people even has followed up, just around the corner. An outsider, in this block, is an unsuspecting lamb, and no one is willing to let go of such a target unless... Fake. Seeing that the Chevrolet stopped in front of a store at the end of the street, the people who followed stopped instantly, and the young man at the head cursed inwardly, then turned his head and left, not daring to stop at all. Not only him but also the surrounding groups of people who were also staring at this target, all turned their eyes away in a panic at this moment, and retracted back into every corner, like a frightened mouse. I don't know if I didn't notice the small movements around me, or I didn't care at all. The door of the Chevrolet was opened, and a young man got out of the car, stretched casually, and then walked to the old shop. He is not very old, and looks like he is in his twenties. He is a little thin among taller European and American people, but he has a strong and capable temperament, and the corners of his lips are slightly raised. The cynical smile attracted the girl's attention. This weather, it's only been so cold in a few months now, isn't Miami a tropical city? The young man murmured and walked into the house, only to see that the hall was completely dark, and there was not a single person to be seen. He immediately frowned put his right hand inside his clothes, and called out tentatively, Rod. After this shout, a sound was heard, and then the lights were turned on, and a person came out of the house. This is a black-haired and black-eyed Chinese man, in his mid-thirties, at the peak of his life. His facial features are well-defined, like a knife and axe, exuding a masculine and iron-blooded breath, but also gives people a feeling as majestic and unshakable as a mountain. What is even more surprising is that the proportions of his stature are particularly perfect. In his actions, not only does he not appear clumsy, on the contrary, he has a sense of swiftness and vigorousness like a cheetah and a tiger. The oppressive force is no less than that of the top predators in the wild mountains and forests. You are. The appearance of this man seemed to shock the young man, causing him to stand still for a while and then he reacted and asked tentatively, Ronan. Having said that, without waiting for the man to answer, he exclaimed to himself, Oh my God! You've grown so big! Remember me, Dean, Dean of the Winchesters. A young man named Dean stepped forward and looked at Ronan, who was more than a head taller than him. His face was full of amazement, and he said repeatedly, 
it's only been a few years since you haven't seen him, but you have grown so strong. I almost didn't recognize you. Okay. It seemed that he didn't want to entangle more on this topic, Ronan casually responded to the young man's sentence, and then cut to the point, Why are you here, John? Dad. This question made Dean's expression suddenly a little helpless, and he said with a wry smile, I want to know where he is too. Okay. Although he was already prepared for this, Luo Ning couldn't help frowning when he heard this, and asked, Missing. That's right. Dean nodded and said, He hasn't been home for several days. I'm looking for him everywhere. I happened to be passing by here, so I came to see if there was any news about him. By the way, where did Rhodes go? Hearing this, Luo Ning also flashed a little helplessness in his eyes, and said, I'm also missing. It's also missing. Dean looked at Ronan in surprise, what's going on here? Luo Ning shook his head, I don't know the specifics. He only left a letter saying that a friend had some trouble. He used to help and he would come back after a while. Dean breathed a sigh of relief and said with a chuckle, isn't this kind of normal, don't worry, Rode is an experienced old hunter, nothing will happen, maybe he will be back in a few days. Already? I hope so too, but the problem is. A bit of helplessness flashed in Luo Ning's eyes, his friend's name is Constantine. What? Dean looked at Ronan in shock and shouted, John Constantine. It should be him. Dean was silent for a while, then said, why don't you stop? Luo Ning shook his head, I wasn't there at that time, and he didn't wait for me to come back. He left a letter and left without even an address. After a while of silence, Dean patted Ronan on the shoulder and comforted, I will definitely let you know if there is any news. Okay. Luo Ning nodded, stopped talking about this topic, and said, What's your plan next? Dean smiled. I'm going to go to Palo Alto to see Sam first. I don't know how he's been in the past few years. Hearing this, Luo Ning didn't ask any more questions, he just said, Is there anything I can help you with? Have. Hearing what Ronan said, Dean was not polite, and immediately said, Silver bullet, salt bullet, it's better to add some holy water, when Dad left, he took all the cross and everything with me. Not very familiar, so, etc. Ronan turned and left the hall, but walked back after a while, pushed a suitcase in front of Dean, and said, 200 rounds of silver pistols, 50 rounds of salt made shotguns, 3 number 10 holy water, enough yet. Enough is enough. Looking at the neatly arranged ammunition in the suitcase and the three pieces of holy water that shone faintly, Dean nodded with satisfaction and asked, how much? Five thousand dollars. For it. The price turned into embarrassment from the smile on Dean's face. He reached out and took out a stack of banknotes from his jacket pocket and put it on the table. He smiled bitterly and said, This is three thousand dollars. Can you owe the rest first? Can. Seeing this, Luo Ning didn't say much, just took the stack of banknotes. Thanks. Seeing that Ronan was so straightforward, Dean was also a little relieved. As a hunter, although he was younger, he also knew the value of these ammunition and holy water. $5,000 was already the cost price, and even some losing money, so he still owes money, it is really unreasonable. But he has no choice. Poverty has always been the tradition of hunters, and he is no exception. He has relied on forged credit cards to pay for his expenses along the way. Now he can come up with these $5,000, which is very rare. Fortunately, the friendship between the two families is pretty good, giving him the opportunity to owe a debt. Otherwise, he is empty-handed and really doesn't know how to face the next situation. Thinking of this, Dean raised his head quickly and smiled at Ronan, I'll be back in a few days, by the way. You and Sam haven't seen each other for many years, I'll bring him here too, the three of us. Together. There's no need for this. Luoning interrupted him directly and said, 
it's more important for you to find someone. I'll handle the matter here myself. This, okay Ronan's tone made Dean feel a little weird, but he couldn't ask more questions, so he could only nod his head and said, then I'll come over after Sam and Dad find Dad, don't worry, Rhodes will be fine, he but I've seen the strongest of all hunters. Standing at the door of the store, Luo Ning watched the classic Chevrolet disappear on the street corner, feeling very complicated. As a reborn and transmigrator, Luo Ning in the last life was an international mercenary, and he was still in the top ranks. His life experience can almost be described as a legend. But there is a good saying, those who are good at swimming drown in water, and those who are good at fighting die in soldiers. In the end, he made a mistake in a mission and was blown up with a missile. After being reborn, with the memories of his previous life, Yu Yu reading www.yuyuganshu.com originally planned to be an ordinary person and enjoy a peaceful life, but he did not expect that he was not only reborn, but also transmigrated to such a place with Blue Star is similar, but has many different worlds. The historical development and national structure of this world are roughly the same as the world in which he lived in his previous life, but there are many differences. After researching and investigating, Luo Ning was even more shocked to find that the movies and TV of these two worlds are actually between each other. Projection Mapping That's right, projection mapping, in this world, there are many movie characters that Ronan is familiar with, such as his father's friend Constantine, and the Winchester father and son who are also hunters, and some messy things. For him, these fictional things that only exist in film and television dramas are real in this world, while some things in his previous life are fictional in this world, including himself. Luo Ning never imagined that his past life as a mercenary was actually a fictional story in this world, and he played a villain, an elite boss who used missiles to kill the protagonist in the plot. Who should he ask him to reason with? Of course, this is not the worst. The worst is how can Ronan survive as an ordinary person in this world that has integrated countless movie and TV plots? Even if Ronan thought about it, his father wouldn't agree. No, he just formed a team with a certain scum slash liar slash gambler slash specialized teammate on the front foot, and the evil star of the Winchester family found him on the back foot. The door, just didn't show the photo of his son to his teammates, and put up another death sign after returning home. Facing such an old man who planted a flag for himself, what can Luo Ning do, what can he do? System Demon Hunter Agency Grade 1 Material, Wood, Steel, Concrete Durability, 98-100 Special Building 1, Exhibition Wall, Exhibit Loot to Gain Various Buffs, Ronin Grade 1 Race, Human Occupation, Demon Hunter, Tier 1, Constitution, 11, 13, Points, physique is the sum of your physical qualities, including the strength and toughness of muscles, bones, internal organs, and all organ cells, affecting your overall vitality, resilience, endurance, striking power, defense power, and negative. Gravity with various resistances, agility, 12, 11, points, agility is the sum of your neural reflexes, affecting your overall reflexes, coordination, balance, five senses, and a certain degree of explosiveness, spirit, 11, 10, points, spirit is the sum of your soul power, which affects your soul strength and the effect of defense and resistance to various spiritual shocks, health, 220 points, special attributes, the body obtains a semi-data effect, you can use special items to quickly restore life, you will not die until the health is below zero, but you will be in a state of light slash severe injuries, increased physical strength, various attribute reduction, HP formula, physical and spirit, X10, magic value, 220 points, special attribute, the body obtains a semi-digital effect, which can be used as power of energy nature, the consumption of magic value will affect your physical state. After the magic value is lower than a certain level, you will have a headache, dizziness, coma, and other states. Magic value formula, physique and spirit, X10, note.
the HP attribute is not immune to fatal damage and disabling blows. If the head or heart is injured, it may still die directly or cause partial functional loss. Fighting Style Demon hunters can use different fighting styles to deal with complex and changeable battlefield situations by switching different magic circuits, each fighting style has its own advantages and disadvantages, which will affect your skills and attributes some degree of influence, combat style is currently enabled, gunslinger, strengthen the combat style of firearms weapons and long range attacks, when switching this combat style, you will get the following increases and Reductions, Agility and Mental Attributes plus 1, Gunsling Style Skill Level plus 1, General Purpose Firearm Skill Level plus 1, General Physical Skill Level 1, General Weapon Skill Level 1, General Fighting Skill Level 1, Physical Attribute 2, Style Level, First Order Style Skills, Magic Shot LV1, Magic Shot Magic Star. General Skills, Taisher Roche Bodybuilding LV4, Firearms Military Archery LV8, Firearms Grenade Throwing LV6, Fighting Mixed Martial Arts LV8, Auxiliary Special Driving LV5, Auxiliary Gunmaking LV5, Auxiliary Mechanical Engineering LV4, Assistive Internet Technology LV5 Experience Value, 20, Experience Value can improve the level of office, Demon Hunter, Fighting Style, Style Skills, General Skills, Reputation Value, 0, Reputation Value is a necessary value to upgrade the level of the firm and build various special buildings. In today's Traversal Tide, every Traverser will have some cheating items or abilities more or less, and Luoning is no exception. Demon Hunter System This is Luoning's time travel welfare, but for some unknown reason, it was late for 28 years. It was not until Luo Ning's father left a letter a few days ago that it suddenly jumped out. 28 years, what a long period of time. If he could seize this period of development, Luo Ning would not even be able to find his own father now. Having said that, Luo Ning is still very happy about the emergence of the system. After all, in this world, human beings are too weak, and just some extraordinary creatures can easily take people's lives not to mention the angels of hell. The devil and that mess of evil gods are gone. As the son of a hunter, Ronan, who also wants to become a hunter, has no sense of security at all in the face of such a familiar but unfamiliar world, so he has been doing his best to strengthen himself. Luo Ning's original plan was to have a certain strength and then participate in major plot events to see if he could take advantage of the foresight and take the lead of a certain protagonist or villain and mix up step by step. But now Luo Ning has changed his mind, because hugging thighs is a high-risk job, no matter if you are hugging the protagonist's leg or the boss's leg, there is a chance that it will be cool. To live a long life in this world, there is only one way, and that is to become stronger, to become stronger than anyone else, and to become an existence that is not limited by the plot. Luo Ning knew this before, but because he had no capital, he couldn't operate. Now it's different. With the big golden finger of the system, how can he be worthy of himself without fighting for it? Tasks, hunting and daily training can all gain experience, but it's been half a month, and there is still no business coming to the door, and the experience gained from daily training is too little. Do you want to take the initiative? While banging on the clean tabletop, Ronan thought about his next move. In the past few days, Luo Ning has basically figured out the function of the system, and he is very clear about what he needs most now. Experience. This is a necessity to upgrade the firm level, the demon hunter level, the fighting style level, the style skill level, and the general skill level. If Ronan wants to improve his strength quickly, he must gain a lot of experience. There are currently three ways to obtain experience. First tasks. If someone comes to entrust, the firm can generate tasks according to the content of the entrustment. After the task is completed, a certain amount of experience and prestige can be obtained, and some special rewards may also appear. Unfortunately, the business of hunters is not very good, because the world is still relatively stable at present, and there are very few special events. 
Occasionally, some situations will be dealt with quickly by the state apparatus and major organizations, and it is rare for them to fall. In the hands of the Lone Ranger The firm run by the Roche father and son is the best example, often not receiving a single business for two or three months. Even if it is received, there are only a few real special events, most of which are messy things, and extraordinary. Strength doesn't matter at all. Second, hunting, as the name suggests, is to take the initiative to hunt and kill extraordinary creatures. Although there is no quest reward from the office, it is also one of the ways to gain experience. Unfortunately, this situation is rare at present, at least during this time. Ning has not received any relevant news. Third, daily training. This system is very user friendly. Daily training can also gain experience, but the number is not large. It is like Luo Ning's training in Luo's body forging. Cannot do this. The progress of the promotion was so slow, and Dean, who had just come to the door, brought another very bad news to Ronan. The plot of The Power of Evil begins. Power of Evil is a very long-lived American drama with 15 seasons in total. It tells the story of two brothers from the Winchester family who embark on a demon hunting journey to find their missing father. In this 15-season plot, the two brothers of the Wen family, relying on their powerful protagonists Halo, went all the way and rampaged. Werewolves, vampires, and other mobs killed countless more. The temple, gave them seven in and seven out, the king of demons, the knight of the apocalypse, Lucifer, Michael, and other bigwigs also provoked them all over, making the fate of the whole world and human beings hovering between destruction and destruction between. Although this is a world that integrates countless movies and TV, the setting of evil forces is not necessarily the main direction of the whole world, and the plot may not develop step by step, but the power of the temple and still cannot be underestimated, only the ghost knows the end. What will happen to them? Therefore, Luo Ning's time is running out. He must improve his strength as soon as possible so that he can be confident in dealing with the crisis that may arise in the future. Of course, he can also follow the plot now and go with the Wen brothers to find their father, but there is a great risk in doing so. After all, they are the protagonists, and in addition to the powerful protagonists Halo, the group Extinction Halo is also essential, basically everyone who teamed up with them received a boxed lunch. Not to mention teammates, even themselves, they have lost their lives more than once, but there are people above them, people below, and people in the middle, such things as returning from the dead are completely commonplace. I often chat and laugh with a series of bigwigs such as Michael, Lucifer, and Death. Luo Ning believes that he does not have such a strong backstage as the two Wen brothers, so it is better not to get involved with them for the time being. Boom. Just when Luo Ning was thinking about his next move, there was a sudden sound of hurried footsteps outside the store, and then a man in a hurry pushed open the store door and broke in. The man is a middle-aged white man, his mental state is not very good, his eyes are bloodshot, and he looks very haggard. It seems that he has not rested well for two or three days. After seeing Luo Ning, he regained his strength and stepped forward and said. You, hello, I'm looking for Mr. Rhodes. Okay. Luo Ning glanced at the man, then got up and said, he went out. It may take several months before he comes back. If you have anything, just tell me. Went out. Ronan's words made the man's face turn ugly, but he quickly covered it up, looked at Ronan again, and asked cautiously, Are you from Mr. Rhodes? He's my father. Luo Ning smiled and said, You can call me Luo Ning. Ronan. Hearing this, the man was stunned for a moment. Then he put all his hopeful eyes on Luo Ning, and asked nervously, Then you are also a, hunter. Luo Ning nodded and said, Yes, is there anything I can help you with? Thank you Holy Emperor. As soon as the voice fell, the man rushed up, grabbed Ronan's hand and said, Then, those monsters, they are back, Rhodes, oh no, Mr. Ronan, please help me. Luo Ning handed a cup of hot coffee to the man, 
then sat down against the edge of the table and asked, What's the matter? The man held up the coffee cup with both hands, took a sip shiveringly, barely calmed down, and said in a trembling voice, Those monsters are back, right in the forest, Luo, Mr. Rhodes didn't kill them all. Monster. Yes, monster. The man clutched the coffee cup tightly and told Ronan with a horrified expression, I, I am the owner of a small logging farm, about two years ago, when I was patrolling the forest, I met those monsters, they looked like similar to humans, but with grey-white skin, no hair on his body, and blood-red claws growing on his hands, like a corpse that has just crawled out of a tomb. At that time, I was in the forest with one of my work groups, and these monsters suddenly rushed out and attacked us. Charlie, Harvey and Walker were all dead, their claws tore their throats and stomachs. Eat it little by little. This nightmare-like memory made the man cover his face involuntarily, and continued to narrate while suppressing his crying, after they were full, they dragged me into a lair, just when I thought I was going to be eaten by those monsters. When it fell, Mr. Rhodes appeared. Mr. Rhodes killed the monsters in the lair and rescued me, and then went into the forest to look for other monsters. After a week, he came back and found me and said that those monsters have been eliminated by him, but maybe if there is any omission, if it appears, come here to find him. It turned out to be so. Luo Ning returned to the seat, looked at the man, smiled and asked, Sir, what should I call you? Matthew, my name is Matthew. The man put down his hands and stared at Ronan with red eyes, Please, you must destroy those monsters. Luo Ning smiled and said, Of course, but before that, we need to talk about compensation first. Remuneration. That's right, the reward. Ronan nodded and said with a smile, according to what you just said, Mr. Matthew, the monsters entrenched in the forest should be Wendigo snow monsters. They first appeared in the ancient Indian legends, and they are human-like monsters. The monster that mutated after eating is strong and agile, and it is a bit tricky to handle so I need to charge five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars! Hearing this number, Matthew, who made Ronan's attitude a little nervous, immediately breathed a sigh of relief and said, No problem, I can pay now. Luo Ning shook his head and said with a smile, I mean five thousand each, not all five thousand. This! Although he was frightened, the sensitive instinct of the businessman still made Matthew hesitate about the price, will it be too expensive? Ronan didn't care about this, and explained patiently, Sir, hunters also have to live, every time we hunt, we bear the danger of death, the loss of weapons, and the possibility of breaking the law, so we charge some the cost is a very reasonable thing, don't you think? This, okay. Although it hurts a bit, Ronan said so and Matthew couldn't bargain any more, so he could only forcefully say, as long as those monsters can be eliminated, how much money doesn't matter. When can we leave? Luo Ning smiled and did not answer, but threw a somewhat inexplicable question, then, Mr. Matthew, do you want to hand over the task to our firm according to this agreement? Although some didn't understand why Ronan asked such an unnecessary question, Matthew couldn't care less, and immediately nodded, yes, of course. Quest Generation, Ghouls in the Forest Mission Introduction, in the cold winter of lack of food, hungry and ferocious terrifying creatures appeared in the forest. Wendigo Snow Monsters, who gained extraordinary power by hunting humans, will now become your prey. Quest Reward, 50 Reputation, 200 Experience, First Order Office Special Building X1, Random, after several days of research, Luo Ning found that his system was a very ritualistic system. Luo Ning had to reach a formal agreement with the client before it would generate the corresponding tasks, just like a contract ceremony. Fortunately, it does not need to hand over any soul, as long as the two parties have a formal agreement, even if it is just verbal, the task will be generated, which can be said to be quite simple. Please follow me. When the mission was generated, Luo Ning stopped talking nonsense, greeted Matthew who was still a little uneasy, 
got up and walked to the weapon room. This weapon room is the most important place in the office at present. It stores all Luoning's net worth and weapons and equipment. Unfortunately, it has not been recognized by the system and is not a special building of the office, so there is no attribute effect or special effect. Sir, this. Looking at the empty room in front of him, Matthew was a little puzzled, but Luoning didn't explain. He went straight to the south wall and supported the cold stone wall with both hands. With a rumbling sound, a dark and deep underground entrance appeared. In front of Matthew. This is a stone gate, a stone gate that requires a lot of strength to open. There is no mechanism, and it can only be opened by relying on this physical strength. In the entire Xiaohadian community, there are only two people who can meet the needs of this strength. That is Ronan and his father. The bodybuilding techniques inherited by the Luo family can exercise the body to a certain extent and gain physique and strength beyond ordinary people. Luoning is the best example. After more than 10 years of exercise, his physique is extremely strong, the physique of an ordinary adult man. Agility and mental attributes are basically around 6 or 7 points, while his average is above 10 points, and the gap can be seen in general. Because of this, this stone gate has become the biggest guarantee of family property. The valuable things are basically stored in the weapon room behind the stone gate, and all the outside are decorations. It can't be sold for a few dollars if it is emptied, and people can even steal it. No desire. Of course, the deterrent power of Roche and his son is also an important factor for thieves to dare not touch the door. Otherwise, those poor and crazy guys might have the possibility of evacuating this office. Come in. This. After Shimon was pushed open, what appeared in front of him was not the weapons room, but a slightly deep staircase. Matthew was a little scared, but he didn't dare to say no to Luo Ning, so he could only bite the bullet and go in. Snapped. A soft sound seemed to be the sound of a switch and the horse who had just stepped off the stone steps corrected himself strangely when he saw a blue light shining on the top of his head, and there were many old and complicated patterns and lines on the walls on the left and right sides. With a mysterious and eerie atmosphere. Luo, Mr. Ronan. This scene made Matthew, who was already worried, frightened, and quickly turned around to look for Ronan's figure, only to find that he was standing behind him holding a very aggressive silver pistol in his hand. The black muzzle of the gun made Matthew's legs go weak, and instantly collapsed to the ground, screaming in horror, You, what are you going to do? In this regard, Ronan was unmoved, and the muzzle did not mean to deflect until. It's not a shapeshifter, it's not a vampire, it's not a werewolf, it's not possessed by demons, it's not possessed by angels, the salt and iron don't respond the silver stripes don't respond, and the banishing charm and the cross are okay, um. It's a person, no problem. After confirming that everything was normal, Ronan put the pistol back into the pistol pocket, stepped forward to help the panicked Matthew, and said with a chuckle, don't be afraid, this is just an insurance testing procedure. Insurance, insurance inspection. Yes, insurance inspection. Luo Ning nodded. Yu reading www.yuyuganchu. Com said with a smile, There are many monsters in this world that can disguise as humans, so we have to be a little cautious about strangers, I hope you can understand. It turned out to be like this. Hearing this, Matthew breathed a sigh of relief. He supported his still weak body and said with a wry smile, Before you come in, you should tell me so that I can prepare myself mentally. I made a mistake, sorry. Luo Ning smiled, stopped talking about this topic, and said, The weapons room is down below, we'll get our equipment and go. Let's go. Ronan said so, what else could Matthew say, he had to suppress the dissatisfaction and shock in his heart, and followed him to the weapons room at the end of the stairs. In addition to storing weapons and equipment, this weapon room also functions as a shelter and a safe house. For this reason, the Roche father and son can be said to spare no effort and put most of their savings into it and build it according to the specifications of the bank vault. 
The final result is that this underground building whose main body is deconstructed from reinforced concrete and has excellent anti-seismic and explosion-proof performance, is installed with a large number of salt iron plates, holy silver patterns, crosses, and exorcism spells for angels and demons and some uncertainties. A protective rune with no effect. Basically, as long as it works, Roche and his son use it, but it doesn't necessarily work. For the sake of insurance, they also use it. Pushing open the heavy salt iron door, Ronan walked into the weapons room, followed by Matthew, who suffered another shock. The walls, tables, and even the corners are full of weapons, bows, firearms, daggers, knives, cold weapons, hot weapons, everything, and the styles and models are different. Some of the classic series seem to all can be displayed in a museum. Ignoring the shocked Matthew, Luo Ning directly began to choose weapons and equipment. Wendigo, has superhuman strength and speed and a certain degree of intelligence, and has supernatural and mysterious qualities. It is said that he cannot be killed by sharp blades and firearms. The weakness is, fire. In his voice, Ronan took down two silver-white pistols from the wall. Desert Eagle Desert Eagle because of its sturdy appearance and amazing power, this pistol once became the darling of Hollywood after its advent, active on major movie screens, swept the world, and became popular in the world, but in the end, due to excessive use and practical value inferior and gradually withdraw from the trend, and even become a synonym for vulgarity and the object of contempt by some people. It is true that as a hunting pistol, it has various shortcomings in actual combat, the heavy and clumsy gun body, the delicate and complex structure, and the force that is too strong for ordinary people to bear, it cannot adapt to the ever-changing and extremely complex battlefield environment. However, these defects are not a problem for Luo Ning. With his powerful physique far beyond ordinary people, he can completely control this pistol, make up for the lack of speed and accuracy and effectively exert the excellent power of this pistol to meet the actual combat requirements. Demand This is exactly what Ronan needs. As a hunter, most of the opponents Ronan needs to face are not humans. Weapons that are enough to cause death threats to humans may not necessarily have the same effect on them, so firepower has always been his first criterion for selecting firearms. In addition, it must be easy to carry and hide. After all, Luo Ning is a hunter, not a mercenary or an armed force. Therefore, the Desert Eagle, which is not suitable for actual combat use, is the best choice for Ronan. Of course, there are many more powerful pistols besides the Sand Eagle, but they were all taken away by his father. And only left this for him. Silver Eagle Kai Equipment Tier, Dark Blue, Dark, Dark Blue, Silver, Gold, Legend, Myth, Equipment Type, Pistol Equipment Material, Steel, Silver, Plastic, Wood. Equipment Ammo, 0.50 inch mixed silver pistol, 14 rounds of ammo capacity, Equipment Specifications, Total Length 288 mm, Weight 2.96 kg Effective Range, 200 m Condition of Use, Constitution Attribute 10 or more Equipment Special Effects, Roar, this pistol comes from the hands of the firearms master, the range and power are far above the same weapon, and it has an extremely powerful impact and shock effect, equipment special effects, classic, thought changes reality, mind effects matter. As a classic weapon, this pistol has many people's beliefs, so it can deal extra damage to specific creatures, introduction, only the strong are qualified to use it. Dark blue quality weapons, this is the only, oh no, only four dark blue quality weapons after Luo Ning turned on the system. That's right, Ronan owns four such pistols, all of which are his father's masterpiece. Luo Ning has to admit that the gap between father and son is still quite large. If nothing else, let's say that this firearm is manufactured. His father is at least LV10 and above, while he is only LV5. What is the difference between LV10 and LV5, that is, one is all dark blue and one is all grey? Not only firearms, 
but also in the production of armor and cold weapons, the old man is also a good hand, and even has a certain degree of dabbling in mysterious items in the transcendent realm. Maybe it can be directly enough for a set of blue equipment. So Zhang is still old and spicy. Luo Ning sighed in his heart, then put away the two silver eagles, plus the two he had been wearing and the other two ordinary sand eagles, he brought a full six pistols. Be prepared. With this thought in mind, under Matthew's stunned expression, Ronan picked up another Winchester M1887 shotgun with the same classic special effects, more than ten grenades, a few specially made incendiary bombs, and the last ten holy waters of number ten. The six pistols were carried under the armpit, at the waist, and behind the waist respectively. They were equipped with the Silver Eagle's length specification. Coupled with the Dao Blila E or body armor he was wearing before, even Luo Ning's stature was extremely tall. Bloated, but fortunately it doesn't have much impact on the action, so it's acceptable. The remaining shotguns and grenades are not easy to carry directly on the body, so they can only be stored in the weapon case and put together with other things. Let's go. After getting fully armed, Ronan took off a black leather trench coat from the clothes rack next to him. This is the standard equipment for hunters. After all, there is a pile of prohibited items hanging on him, and there is no coat to cover it up. The consequences can be imagined. Luo Ning didn't want to go out, so he acted in a blockbuster of police and bandit action, and then boarded the board. Black lists of major U.S. federal intelligence and security agencies. Transportation is also an indispensable existence for hunters, so in addition to this office, Roche and his son also built two storefronts on the left and right, one for repairs and refits, and one for garage use. What, the parking lot, don't be kidding, I really put the car in the parking lot, not to mention the group after group of car thieves, the enemies that Roche and his son have provoked over the years, enough to cause trouble for them. Luo Ning didn't want to put a time bomb on his car one day, so he would rather spend more money than buy peace of mind. Okay. After checking the warning device and making sure there was no problem, Ronan opened the garage and drove out a red Ford F-150. This is the most classic and best-selling model in the Ford Raptor series. It is deeply loved by the people of the United States, and its performance can stand the test, so it has always been the preferred car for father and son. Luo Ning drove the car onto the street and said to Matthew, who was still in a daze, You lead the way, I'll follow behind, honk if anything happens. Okay, okay. Hearing this, Matthew came back to his senses and quickly got into his own car. It was also a Ford F-150 but it was a blue one. This shows how popular this model is. One blue and one red, two cars, slowly drove out of the block. After turning a corner, Ronan honked his horn and signaled Matthew in front to stop. Matthew stopped the car and was about to ask what happened when he saw a Chinese girl dressed as a waiter running out of the Chinese restaurant on the corner, came to Luo Ning's car, and asked softly, Brother Luo, what to eat today? Luo Ning didn't get out of the car, but just handed out a few bills from the car window, and said at the same time, 50 steamed buns, half beef, half pork, three large pieces of roasted meat, plus six roasted goose legs. And the rest is milk. Okay, come right now. The girl took the banknotes, but she didn't count them, she only wrote down Luo Ning's order, and then she ran back to the store. After the girl left, Luo Ning didn't wait. He stretched out his hand from the car window and ticked off at the group of people at the end of the street, signaling them to come over. This made a few gangsters who were obviously gang members collapsed in an instant, but they still came to Luo Ning's car and asked with a smile, Mr. Luo Ning, what's the matter? Luo Ning didn't talk nonsense, and said directly, Tell Lab, I have something to go out. If I find something wrong with my store when I come back, I'll smash his bar. This. Obviously, it's not a good job to spread this word, but he didn't dare to say no to Luo Ning and the others, so he could only nod and bow down in agreement, we will definitely tell Boss Lep what you said. Hearing this, 
Luo Ning didn't say anything more and waved his hand to signal them to leave. I wish you have a nice trip. Seeing that Luo Ning had no other request, several people secretly breathed a sigh of relief, but they still kept a smile on their faces and quickly walked away from here. Not long after the few people left, the Chinese girl just walked out of the restaurant and handed over two large bags of food to Luo Ning, saying, Brother Luo, this is what you want. Okay. Luo Ning nodded, put everything on the co-pilot, you you read www.youyougonshu.com then said the girl again, I'm going to go out, maybe I'll be back in a few days, you don't have to keep it for me. It's okay, it's okay, it happens every day anyway. No, that's not what I meant. Gone. Facing the incoherent girl, Luo Ning didn't waste any time, he said a word and started the car. Luo Ning didn't close the car window, and the bleak night wind blew in, chilling to the bone, but he didn't care, he controlled the steering wheel with one hand, and took out the steaming steamed bun with the other. The body forging technique of the Luo family has been passed down for a long time, and the effect is particularly powerful, but this powerful effect does not come out of thin air. In addition to daily exercise, it also requires a lot of food. Only by absorbing a lot of nutrients from food can we make up for the consumption of qi and blood caused by exercise and ensure the effect of body training. This is why, at a time when experience is urgently needed, Luo Ning insists on charging for this door toto or entrustment. Poor, but people will die. This is especially true for the hunter profession. Without a lot of money support, there is no way to buy powerful weapons and equipment. Without powerful weapons and equipment, facing some unexpected situations, the result is predictable and no. Therefore, no matter what the entrustment is, Luo Ning has to charge, and he has to charge more, not only to ensure that the cost of consumption can be recovered, but also to make a fortune in case of emergency. Of course, with Luo Ning's capital, you can also get funds from other channels, but most of these channels are grey. It's okay to get some when there is an opportunity or to respond to emergencies at a critical moment. If you do it as the main business, then wait. Double scrutiny by the FBI and the Hunter Guild Oversight Department. Although it is said to be a Chinese restaurant, due to the difference in diet, the food in this Chinese restaurant is more inclined to Western tastes and belongs to Western-style Chinese food. Although Luo Ning was an international mercenary in his last life, before he became a mercenary, he was a native of China, so this Western-style Chinese food was not very suitable for him. He tasted like a hamburger. This reminded Luo Ning of his missing father. Although he has been living in the United States for decades, he is very good at cooking Chinese food. He is proficient in all eight major cuisines. If he hadn't disappeared now, how would Luo Ning be? Wouldn't eat this takeaway either. I hope nothing will happen. Luo Ning sighed, solved the last bun, and concentrated on driving. Matthew's logging farm is not far from the city, only a few hours' drive. The two set off late at night. When they arrived at the logging farm, the sky was still dark, and the forest was shrouded in darkness. The shadow is looming, like a ghostly shadow. Is this the forest? No, that's right. What happened two years ago left a huge psychological shadow on Matthew, and now he recalls it like a nightmare. He said to Ronan in a panic, those monsters are hidden in this forest, and they attacked me yesterday. The lumber mill, and captured a night watchman. Okay. Luo Ning rubbed his chin and thought for a while, then turned around and asked, you didn't call the police. Call the police. Hearing this, Matthew was stunned for a moment, then reacted, and said angrily, of course, but the sheriff of the town doesn't believe there are any monsters at all, he only thinks that grizzly bears and other beasts are planning to organize manpower. Enter the forest for search and rescue. The police agencies of the U.S. federal government are mainly divided into three levels, federal, state, city and county. Except for the federal police, state police, city police, and county police have no vertical relationship with the U.S. federal government. 
they are directly led by local governments and have great autonomy. Therefore, when encountering such a situation, the local sheriff usually organizes people to solve it by themselves. If it cannot be solved, it will be reported, and then transferred to the special department that handles such incidents. Although this speed can't be said to be fast, it's not too slow either. If Matthew hadn't found him directly as a party, maybe the Federal Paranormal Investigation Agency would have sent someone in a few days. Although he has a name in the Hunter Guild and has a completely legal identity, Luo Ning still doesn't like to deal with the official personnel of the Federation. Sir, then I. You can go to the town's bank first to withdraw money, looking at Matthew who looked terrified, Luo Ning smiled and said, I prefer cash transactions. This. Looking at the dark road, Matthew shrank. Without the of the bodyguard Ronan, he didn't dare to drive away alone, so he could only say, let's wait until dawn. In late autumn, it was almost winter, and the night became extraordinarily long. Luo Ning sat in the car, and after finishing the last box of lunch, he lay down on the seat, ready to rest for a while to refresh himself. This is very necessary. Monsters like Wendigo rarely act in groups, because they are all ghouls mutated by humans. At the beginning of the mutation, all food will be eaten up by them. There is no opportunity to transform peers at all, and naturally it is impossible to form groups. But there are always exceptions. If a Wendigo lives long enough, its power will become stronger and stronger, and its wisdom will also grow to a certain extent, so as to consciously cultivate companions and form a group of clan structure, just like the group that is now entrenched in the forest. A group of monsters with extraordinary power is a threat that cannot be ignored for any hunter, and Ronan is no exception, so he must raise his spirits and deal with the next situation in the best state. In Luo Ning's light sleep and Matthew's anxiety, time passed quietly, and soon, the sky was illuminated by the brilliance of the rising sun, and the dark and terrifying forest gradually disappeared, revealing its lush appearance. Gentlemen! The flustered shouts interrupted Luo Ning's light sleep. He opened his eyes and turned his head to look. He happened to see Matthew approaching with an anxious face, and said repeatedly, the sheriff from the town is here with a team. Oh! Luo Ning replied, still sitting in the car, as if he didn't care about the situation at all. This made Matthew even more anxious, and said repeatedly, they are going to enter the forest for search and rescue. Luo Ning glanced at him and asked, so? This? Ronan's attitude made Matthew a little nervous, but he still said bravely, are you trying to stop them? After all, those monsters are still in the forest. Luo Ning shook his head and said in a low voice, this is your business. I'm only responsible for the entrustment, and I don't care about the rest. Okay. Luo Ning said so, but Matthew couldn't hold on any longer, so he could only face the team of police who came to search and rescue by himself. After a while, he turned back again, accompanied by a middle-aged police officer with a big shoulder and a round waist. I'm Terry, the sheriff of Doran Township. The middle-aged police officer came to the car window, introduced himself, looked at the environment inside the car, his eyes kept wandering around Luo Ning's waist and ribs, and finally said, listen to Matthew say you are the bounty hunter he brought in from Miami, I want to check your credentials. Luo Ning glanced at him, and didn't say much after that. He picked out a document from the glove box and handed it over. Okay. Ronan's casual attitude made this Sheriff Terry frown immediately, feeling a little dissatisfied, but he still took the certificate and checked it. The Hunter Guild. Looking at the sign on the certificate, Terry frowned even more, handed the certificate back to Ronan, and said coldly, we have organized people to enter the forest for search and rescue, and we don't need outsiders to intervene, otherwise, there will be an accident. We are not responsible. After all, he turned around and left without paying any attention to Ronan's reaction. Such a bad attitude was not only aimed at Ronan, but also at the hunter guild behind him. In this world with extraordinary power, the strength of state organs is strong, 
but there is no way to achieve dominance. For some powerful organizations, state organs have no way to control them. They can only recognize their existence and give legal rights to them. Sex The Hunter Guild is such an organization. Its influence spreads all over the world. There are branches and branches in various countries and regions. In addition to responding to various extraordinary events, it also undertakes various entrusted tasks, including but not limited to pursuit, security, investigations, etc. Many bounty hunters, private investigators and hired armed forces will be affiliated with the Hunter Guild to obtain legal status and execution rights, especially bounty hunters hired by the U.S. federal government. Powers will even outshine the local police. For this reason, the police in all parts of the United States are extremely repelling the existence of hunter guilds and bounty hunters. After all, no one wants to have a few job seekers on their own territory, let alone these people sometimes you can press your head. Therefore, it is reasonable for the sheriff to take such an attitude. Luo Ning didn't take it to heart at all, and was even a little happy. Someone was standing in front of him to explore the way for free. This kind of good thing is rare. What? Stop them from entering the forest? Forget it, Luo Ning doesn't have the habit of sticking his hot face to someone's cold butt. If he has time to spare, he might as well lie down in the car for a while. Gentlemen. Seeing that Luo Ning was lying down again, Matthew was helpless. Although he knew that preventing the search and rescue team from entering the forest at this time was a thankless task, there was no way. This matter started because of him. If it's not good, he will also be implicated, but helplessly, he can only bite the bullet and negotiate with him. Result. Damn. Matthew returned to the car and said angrily to Ronan, These police officers don't believe me at all, Terry, that brainless guy even suspects that I killed people, even if there are only corpses left, they'll bring it back from the forest too, a bunch of bastards. Luo Ning opened his eyes, ignoring his complaints, got out of the car, opened the weapon box, took out a few grenades and a few tubes of holy water and equipped them within reach. I haven't come back yet, so leave here and make this call. With that said, Ronan handed a business card to Matthew, and regardless of his reaction, he picked up the shotgun and weapon case and walked into the forest. The vast area and sparse population have always been a feature of the American Federation. People yearn for prosperous big cities, and rarely settle in the countryside. Many remote towns and villages have even been abandoned because of this. Although the town where Matthew is located has not yet reached this point, it is not much better. The geographical location is too remote and there are no resources worthy of development, so it can only decline day by day. The town is still like this, not to mention the forest. On weekdays, except for the workers in the logging field, no one will enter at all. Therefore, this forest has always retained its original style. The terrain and environment are extremely complex, and it is easy to get lost. There are many the poisonous snakes and beasts are entrenched and it is very dangerous. Fortunately, Terry is not only the sheriff of the town, but also a seasoned hunter. Every year he goes into the forest to hunt elk or grizzly bears, so he is very familiar with the terrain of this forest, plus a ranger's. An old friend and a few subordinates armed with guns are enough to cope with the conditions in the forest. Those bounty hunters are like dirty hyenas, they dare to do anything for money, and he will definitely enter the forest. Everyone, pay attention, don't shoot if you don't see the target clearly, I don't want any of you among you. Who was charged with manslaughter because of that guy? Terry reminded his subordinates and searched forward. He knew that grizzly bears had no habit of storing food. Most of the night watchmen who had been kidnapped by it had become rations, but as the sheriff of the town, how could he want to take the body back and give an explanation to the residents of the town? Help. Just as the search and rescue team was searching and advancing, a sharp cry for help suddenly sounded in the dense jungle. Someone, hurry up. Because they never expected to find the survivors, after hearing the cry for help, 
everyone in the search and rescue team was a little surprised. Quietness is the first impression you get from this forest. There is no chirping of birds and insects, and no hissing of beasts. This is not normal. Even in the cold winter, the forest shouldn't be so quiet, let alone it's autumn, and it's not that quiet season. The unusual silence proves that Matthew is not lying, there is indeed a group of Wendigos hidden in this forest. These supernatural creatures mutated because of cannibalism, while gaining power, they also bear a curse. Their stomachs are like a bottomless pit, so that they can never be satisfied and suffer from hunger all the time. Hungry, they will devour all living things within the range of the nest, even small bugs like ants and crickets. Therefore, the forest where Wendigo is entrenched is extremely quiet. The living creatures in the forest are either eaten up by them, or they feel their breath migrate out of this area. In such a dead forest, any kind of sound is abrupt, and Luo Ning's footsteps are no exception. Position But Ronan didn't take it lightly because it was useless. The forest is the home of the Wendigos. It is almost impossible to sneak attack on them in the forest. Come. It's a pity that Luo Ning is far less attractive than the search and rescue team in front of him, so. Help. Luo Ning stopped and listened to the faint sounds coming from the depths of the jungle, without the slightest wave in his eyes. Monsters like Wendigo have a considerable degree of intelligence, so they are very cunning. They can even imitate human voices to attract people into their traps. It's like now, because of the large number of search and rescue teams, those Wendigos are not sure to eat them all. In order to avoid the search and rescue team from being attacked and fleeing the forest, they imitated the victim's cry for help and prepared to search and rescue them. The team was introduced into the depths of the jungle, and then launched an attack. Although this method is old-fashioned, it works well, especially for ordinary people who don't know anything about it. Sure enough, after a while, the search and rescue team was attacked, and the piercing gunshots were accompanied by screams of horror. The movement was quite intense, but Luo Ning remained unmoved, and did not mean to step forward to help. Just kidding. In this situation, the shotguns in those hands were definitely more dangerous than Wendigo's claws. Although Ronan was wearing a Daoblila E or body armor, he didn't want to taste stray bullets. The search and rescue team was small, with only six members, including Sheriff Terry. Facing the hordes of Wendigos, they had no resistance at all. It was only a matter of time before they were destroyed. Sure enough, with a low roar, the gunshots and screams in the deep forest soon subsided, everything returned to silence, and no sound could be heard. Ronan stayed where he was, waiting for the end of the battle in the deep forest, while counting the number of Wendigos he would face later. It is now late autumn, and the harsh winter is coming. Many creatures are stocking up food for the winter, and Wendigo is no exception. They not only need food to survive the winter, but also to nurture new members. Therefore, when winter is approaching, Wendigo will leave the forest, attack nearby villages or towns, capture humans and other living creatures, and bring them back to their nests as food reserves for winter. The search and rescue team has a total of six members. If you want to transport them all back to the lair, at least three Wendigos are needed, and the number of Wendigos in a clan is basically no more than ten including the elders left behind in the lair. With the guards, what Ronan needs to face later should be two to three, maybe five at most. With the result in his heart, Luo Ning didn't stop there, carrying the weapon case and walking towards the direction where the search and rescue team was attacked just now. It is only early in the morning, and the sunlight in autumn is not as fierce as in summer, and it cannot penetrate the dense branches and leaves at all so the light in the forest is not enough and it is very dim. Luo Ning went deep into it, and there was no road to walk under his feet. He could only step on low shrubs and lichens, and his vision was limited, so his speed was not fast, and it took a while to get close to the attack site. Suddenly, Luo Ning stopped his steps and stopped in front of a pine tree. It can be seen that the thick trunk is full of traces left by sharp claws. Pine resin overflows from it, 
like condensed blood. It seems that extra scary. This is the trace left by Wendigo. Their hands and feet have powerful hooks that allow them to easily climb the trees, and even launch sneak attacks to attack humans who strayed into the forest from a height. Just like... Ho! Oh. A huge shadow suddenly fell from the dense canopy branches and leaves, carrying a gust of wind straight to the back of Ronan's head, but he didn't want to, Ronan moved faster, and the moment the shadow fell, he turned around. The weapon box held in the left hand swung up and smashed heavily towards the shadow. This weapon box is also from the hands of Luo Ning's father. The main material is steel, mixed with silver and some metals that act in the mysterious field. It weighs 35 kilograms. It is an uncompromising melee weapon and has shock resistance. The explosion effect ensures that it will not cause damage to the items in the weapon box. Using Ronan's power to lift this weapon box, the lethality can only be described as amazing. The Wendigo didn't even have time to react, so he smashed the box on Ronan's face, and a cloud of blood burst out. Come on, I was pumped out on the spot. This time, if you change to a human, you will lose half your life if you don't die, but Wendigo is Wendigo after all. As a supernatural creature, its body is not only strong, agile, but also has mysterious characteristics. In Legends, this evil monster is a symbol of cold and famine. They are not only invulnerable to anything other than fire, but also have eternal life and power. Although the legends are all exaggerated, they are not all false. For monsters like Wendigo, their mysterious characteristic is that they are afraid of flames, and have strong resistance and even immunity to damage outside of flames. Therefore, Ronan's attack was not fatal to this Wendigo, not even a serious injury, and it climbed up in a blink of an eye. Only then did Luo Ning see its appearance clearly, just as Matthew had described before. It had a roughly human shape with a huge skeleton and a thin body. It seemed that only a layer of dead grey skin was close to the bones. Without the existence of any flesh and blood, the whole body exudes an extremely strong smell of blood and rancidity, like a living corpse that has just crawled out of the tomb. Its face is even more frightening. The shriveled skin tightly wraps the face, the eye sockets are deeply sunken, and the yellow-gray pupils in the inner part show a turbid texture, as if there will be pus overflowing at any time. When he came out, the lower half of his face was covered with bright red blood stains, highlighting the extreme terror of the mouth that criss-crossed his teeth. Of course, for Ronan, the monster's limbs are the focus, especially the pair of arms, which are as thick and long as a giant ape their feet drop to their knees, and their ten fingers are deformed into curved hook claws, which are full of flesh and blood. The debris and mud of unknown composition are known to be extremely lethal at a glance. Ronan's attack just now left a sunken mark on the Wendigo's face, and thick blood and turbid juice overflowed from it, making people feel nauseated. This injury is not serious for Wendigo, but it deeply stimulates it. I saw this terrifying monster half-bent, roaring like a wolf, and its grey-yellow pupils stared at him. Looking at Luo Ning, his eyes were filled with indescribable hunger and greed. The instinct of the body is telling it that the human being in front of him is more delicious than all the food it has eaten before. As long as he eats him, he will be satisfied and become stronger. Eat him. Eat him. Eat him. Driven by hunger and instinctual pursuit, this Wendigo launched an attack brazenly, and the thin and withered body burst out with powerful strength, like a cheetah rushing towards Ronan fiercely. With Wendigo's physique and strength, it is basically difficult for the prey to be knocked down by it to resist effectively. Even an adult grizzly bear with rough skin and thick flesh can't resist its sharp and powerful teeth. It bites off its neck and dies quickly from blood loss and suffocation. However. Boom. A loud bang shook in this quiet dense forest, and Wendigo, who was flying in, was blasted out at a faster speed and crashed into a bush behind. Crack! Luo Ning put down the weapon case with one hand and probed towards his waist. With the other hand, he swung the shotgun, which was still smoking wisps of blue smoke, and spun it, and pulled out the silver eagle when the loading was completed. 
Ronan's speed was extremely fast, but the Wendigo's movements were also not slow. With a roar, he rushed out of the bushes and rushed towards Ronan again. At this time, if someone freezes the time and observes carefully, they will definitely find that there is an extra scar covering a large area on Wendigo's chest, which is the damage caused by the shotgun. It's a pity that the damage was not serious, and it didn't even penetrate its outer skin defense. A large number of projectiles were embedded in the dead gray skin, and were slowly squeezed out under the action of a force. This is the mysterious quality. Under the influence of supernatural mysterious power, Wendigo's body has super toughness. Even if the modified and strengthened Winchester M1887 in Ronan's hand is powerful enough to kill an adult brown bear, can't deal effective damage to it. Fortunately, Ronan had already anticipated this, so he was not surprised by the result of this shot, and his position was not at all chaotic. Facing the crazy rushing Wendigo, he pulled the trigger of Silver Eagle. Boom! The roar of this gun was even more intense than before, like the roar of a giant beast, penetrating an unparalleled sense of power, and even bright red flames poured out from the muzzle, illuminating the dark forest instantly. Clap! As the gun flame poured out, a dark red light exploded, and Wendigo, who was flying over, instantly fell to the ground. Like an injured beast, he howled in pain. It can be seen that on its left calf, there is a wound caused by a bullet, and the skin with super toughness has been broken through. Magic shot level, LV1 plus 1 equals LV2, style core skills, no style skill level can exceed this skill level, introduction, stimulate magic, UU reading www.uuganshu.com injects firearms, improves the performance of firearms, enhances the power of firearms, and adds magic damage to bullets, so that it ignores the effects of extraordinary power and mysterious characteristics to a certain extent, depending on the firearm, the consumption of magic power will increase or decrease accordingly, magic shooting, the core skill of the gun style, is also the only skill that Luoning has learned so far. It can inject magic power into the firearm, improve the performance of the firearm, and give the bullet magic damage effect. While increasing the damage, it can also increase the damage. Ignore the role of mystical traits. Just like the Wendigo in front of me, its mysterious qualities endow it with resistance to all damage other than flames so that Ronan's shotgun can't even penetrate its skin until it uses magic power to shoot. It deals effective damage. In Luo Ning's view, ignoring the mysterious qualities is the core of this skill. Other performance improvements and increased power are just the icing on the cake, because in this world, the power of many extraordinary creatures is not strong, but the mysterious qualities' existence makes them extremely dangerous. Vampires are an example. Except for some ancient bloodlines, most vampires are not much stronger than ordinary people. In theory, Ronan can kill ten of such vampires with one hand, but in actual combat, if there is no weapon for his characteristics, and he is the one who finally flees in the face of ten fully armed vampire soldiers, there's no way to do it. If you fight, you won't die. If you waste it, but you can't escape, what else can you do? Therefore, magic shooting ignores the role of mysterious characteristics, which is of great significance, especially for a lone ranger like Luo Ning, who has no team backup or organizational help, no matter what the situation is, he can only rely on himself. What is needed is this comprehensive capability. Roar On the land full of lichen plants, Wendigo let out a shrill howl like a wounded beast. It tried its best to support its body and wanted to stand up again, but the severe pain from its left calf made it difficult for him to stand up again. This operation failed again and again. Everything has advantages, but there are disadvantages. Although Wendigo's mysterious qualities make it extremely strong defensive resistance, it also greatly reduces its ability to withstand pain, and even becomes extremely sensitive. Injury can cause strong stimulation and impact on it. Just now, Luo Ning's shot almost shattered its calf and tibia. At this moment, the bullet was buried in the wound. As its struggle continued to deepen, 
causing secondary damage, the pain could be imagined. Under the torment of this severe pain, it couldn't even crawl on its hands and feet, let alone stand up. It could only whimper when it fell to the ground, hoping to call its companions. This is also the main purpose of Ronan shooting his calf. Although magic shooting can ignore the mysterious characteristics, it can be ignored in different degrees. Ignoring 1% is ignoring, and ignoring 100% is also ignoring. The specific effect is determined by the strength of both parties. An absolute value. As a shooter, in this situation where there is no way to guarantee a one-shot kill, and the distance between the enemy and the enemy is quite close, the most important thing to do is not to take a risk, but to limit the target's actions to ensure his own safety, and then pull the distance and use the advantages of weapons and range to kill the enemy. Therefore, in the face of this Wendigo's ferocious charge, Ronan did not choose to attack its heart or head, but shot at its calf, not asking for much damage, as long as it could restrain its movement, give yourself a second shot a third shot, a fourth shot, that's enough. Of course, there is a prerequisite for this, that is, the marksmanship cannot be too bad, and at least it must be able to predict the target's trajectory when moving fast and hit it accurately, otherwise it will kill you. Facts have proved that Ronan's marksmanship and tactics are very good. Compared with the fatal head and heart, shooting Wendigo's legs is obviously more effective. This shot not only caused effective damage to it, but also paralyzed its movements, and now it can only fall to the ground and be slaughtered. Once the hit was successful, Ronan didn't hesitate, he stepped forward and started to fill the second shot, this time he aimed at Wendigo's head. In the legend of Wendigo, this monster has no weakness except the fear of flames. In the past, people hunted and killed it basically with flames so Ronan didn't know where its vital points were. At this moment, he attacked the head. It was just an attempt, and I was not sure to kill it. Bang! 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 The crimson gun flames flickered one after another in the dark forest, and the shocking roar of gunfire covered the mournful morning, and finally returned to peace. With three shots in a row, all of them hit Wendigo's head. The powerful force attached to the bullets knocked down the still struggling him, and the turbid juice and blood burst out, splashing blood all over the floor. Kill target the battle is over experience gained, 10 plus 1, additional 10% increase, prestige gained, 10 plus 1, additional 10% increase, battle rating, F, F, E, D, C, B, A, S, 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 S. Battle Evaluation, simple and unpretentious battles do not belong to the demon hunters, pursue higher battle scores with gorgeous skills, the battle score will determine the value of extra experience and extra prestige, for each level you increase, you will get 10% extra experience and extra prestige addition, that is, F score bonus 10%, E score bonus 20%, D score bonus 30%, and so on. The highest level of SSS score will get 90% extra experience and extra prestige bonus. Okay. Luo Ning was not surprised by the system's sudden kill prompt and rating summary, because he had already researched the inside and outside of the system, and was clear about various functions, the kill prompt and battle rating. Nature is no exception. In general, these are two very good features, kill tips. It can effectively prevent the target from escaping through suspended animation. Although a voice suddenly appeared in his mind, Ronan felt a little awkward, but after getting used to it, it was no big deal. Not to mention the score summary, it can not only evaluate this battle, but also provide additional experience and prestige bonuses. For Ronan, who is in urgent need of experience and prestige, this can almost be said to be the most valuable auxiliary function. The only fly in the ointment is the calculation method of this battle score. What is a simple and unpretentious fighting method that does not belong to the demon hunter, isn't it good to be unpretentious? Ronan groaned inwardly for a while, then put the pistol back into his waist, picked up the weapon case and walked towards the Wendigo's body. Although the Wendigo had been judged dead after being smashed to pieces by Ronan, 
the powerful vitality of the extraordinary creature still made its corpse twitch, as if it would jump up at any time. As for the system's judgment, Luo Ning still trusts it, so he doesn't have much doubts. He crouches down to open the weapon case, takes out a tracker, and sticks it to the underarm of the corpse, which is not easy to detect. When Digos are omnivorous creatures, they eat almost everything, and they love the flesh and blood of human beings and the corpses of their companions the most, because this can provide them with powerful strength, and for this reason, they will even hunt the same kind and devour each other, just like raising them. Like a goo, he cultivated the strongest king. Although the group of Wendigos entrenched in the forest have not yet reached this point, it does not mean that they will let go of this food. Therefore, Ronan installed a tracker on the corpse, and he needs these Wendigos for him. Lead the way to find their lair hidden in the forest. Roar. Ronan had just installed a tracker on the corpse, when he heard a roar from behind, raised his gun and turned around, only to see a Wendigo hiding in the bushes, with a thin and withered body hunched over, in a kind of anger and anger. A terrified gesture stared at him. I don't know if it was the corpse's horror that caused the fright, or if it witnessed the battle just now, this Wendigo was very cautious, hiding in the bushes, his eyes fixed on the shotgun in Ronan's hand, and he didn't take the initiative to attack at all. Mean. To this, Ronan's response was very succinct, raising his hand was a shot, Winchester's roar sounded again, and a barrage of iron sand poured out, instantly covering the figure hiding in the bushes. Roar. The distance between the two sides is not close. As far as the shotgun is concerned, it already belongs to the medium and long range, so the speed and power of the shotgun have been reduced, and it can't cause any damage to the Wendigo, but it still screamed and headed. He did not return and fled into the forest. Seeing this, Luo Ning didn't hesitate, picked up the weapon box and chased after him, and disappeared in a blink of an eye. After a while, Ronan returned and looked at Wendigo's body. Sure enough, it had disappeared. The scattered flesh and blood debris was also swept away, and even the blood-soaked soil was rolled over, everywhere. They are all rough and greedy-looking marks. Seeing the prey taking the bait, Ronan immediately took out the locator host from the weapon box and started tracking the signal. This locator is an auxiliary tool produced by the Hunter Guild. The technology used is far beyond the scope of civilian use. It is also the top ranks in the military field. It has excellent performance and strong quality. Some degree of resistance. Looking at the fast-moving signal on the locator, Luo Ning was not in a hurry to chase. He didn't dare to fight with the locator. This thing is not so expensive. In order to get it, father and son even ate instant noodles for half a month. Take it to Chase, what if you accidentally break it? About there. It wasn't until the signal stopped moving that Ronan lifted the weapon case and rushed in the direction of the location. I don't know if it was the death of the companion that caused the fright, or because of other reasons, Ronan was not attacked by any attack along the way, as if all the Wendigos had retreated to the nest. Ronan didn't care too much about this, although Wendigo was cunning, but his cunning was more of a beast. If you change the target, such as vampires or gangs like Shu cultists, then Ronan will have to consider whether to go deeper. After all, those guys want money, money and people, and they can keep up with the times. There are all kinds of messes. Going deep into their lair is a very risky thing to do. Now, compared to those neurotic and terrorists, these Wendigos hiding in the forest are as pure and kind as little white rabbits, so Ronan doesn't have too many concerns www.mtlnovel.com um. After tracking for a while, Luo Ning stopped, glanced at the locator in his hand, and then looked at the looming abandoned building in the dense forest ahead, frowning slightly. It was a mine, a very common mine in the forest. In the era of great voyages, world colonization rose. I don't know how many troops, merchants, explorers and colonists landed on the American continent and looted this rich land. These abandoned mines are a product of that period. The predecessor of Wendigo was most likely the miners in these mines, 
who were trapped in the mines because of the mine accident or other reasons. There was no food, no drinking water, and no hope of escaping. In the end, in a desperate situation, they devoured the corpses of the same kind under the drive of hunger, or simply killed each other and devoured each other. The hole is entrenched as its own lair. This is also the reason why Luo Ning frowned. The original colonists only knew how to scavenge for resources without any consideration for the ecological environment and sustainable development. Therefore, it is severely damaged, and if one is not good, it will collapse. It was so dangerous at the beginning, let alone now. It has been abandoned for so long, and the fixed devices in the mine have probably lost their function long ago, and the risk of entering is extremely high. Because of the fact that he accidentally killed someone with a missile in his previous life, Luo Ning became very cautious after his rebirth. In the past, he would definitely not take such a risk. But now that my father is missing, there is also a mess involved. In order to quickly improve his strength, even if he knows that there are tigers in the mountains, he can only go to the tiger mountains. Although he had decided to take the risk, Ronan did not rush into the mine, but first opened the weapon box and took out the equipment for the dark environment. Glow sticks, signal pistols, flares, and all grenades and holy water in the weapon case, as well as five prep repart incendiary grenades. Needless to say about lighting equipment such as light sticks, although the practice of body forging has greatly enhanced Luo Ning's five senses, it is not enough to allow him to have a dark vision. Too dark environment will also affect him. Effects, interferes with the accuracy of the shot. So, he must bring enough lighting equipment to prevent himself from getting into a disadvantageous situation. Grenades are an emergency measure. Although grenades may not be able to cause fatal damage to Wendigo, they can suppress their offensive somewhat by relying on the impact force of the explosion and by time. Holy water has a recovery effect and can be effective. Restore stamina and magic power, and provide battle endurance. Number 10 Holy Water Type, Potion, Recovery, Ingredients, Water, Divine Power, Faith Power Effect, Immediately after taking it, it restores 50 health and 50 mana, and dispels some abnormal states. In the following 10 seconds, it restores 5 health and 5 mana per second. Introduction, Soul Changes Reality Thoughts affect matter, the condensation of beliefs of many people, coupled with the fusion of divine power, make this ordinary liquid possess magical power. After taking it, it can quickly restore physical strength and magic power, and dispel abnormal conditions. Can also damage some creatures. Note, number 10 holy water can be taken continuously, but the first order demon hunter can take up to 3 pieces within 24 hours. The recovery effects of the three holy waters can be superimposed. After taking them, they will form holy resistance. The same level of holy water will no longer be effective. Use other the effectiveness of holy restoration items will also be reduced. Holy water, extraordinary items, or restoration type extraordinary items, needless to say its value, even the lowest number 10 holy water in this sequence costs $1,000 a piece, and it is exclusively monopolized by the Holy Church, with a limited amount of sales. Most people think can't buy. Fortunately, in addition to holy water, Luo Ning's own recovery ability is not weak. The practice of body forging not only gave him a physical quality and spiritual will far beyond ordinary people, but also greatly enhanced his endurance and resilience. According to the data of the system and his own observations, under normal circumstances, he can recover 3 points of health and 1 point of mana per minute. Don't think it's very little, you must know that Luo Ning's current HP and magic value are only more than 200 points. According to this speed, he can recover most of his stamina and magic power as long as he rests for an hour. This kind of recovery efficiency is far away. Far beyond the limits of normal human beings. With this powerful resilience, in low-intensity battles, Luo Ning can go without rest for three days and three nights. Even in medium-high-intensity battles, he can ensure long battery life through the recovery and rest intervals of food and medicine. 
it can be seen how powerful the effect of this body forging technique is. Apart from these, Luo Ning also prepared five incendiary grenades as the last trump card. This thing is also called thermite grenade. Through thermite reaction, it can generate a high temperature of 3000 degrees Celsius at the moment of explosion, melt part of the charge into molten iron, stick to anything it touches and burn, and is mostly used on the battlefield to destroy armored vehicles. For Wendigo, who is afraid of fire, this is undoubtedly a very effective weapon, but Ronan does not want to use it, because doing so will burn Wendigo to ashes. Most of the corpses of extraordinary creatures are very valuable. They can not only be used as trophies to enhance the strength of the office and Luo Ning, but also can be sold to the hunter guild in exchange for money, which is an important source of income for professional hunters. Although the use of incendiary bombs can quickly end the battle, the harvest after the battle cannot be counted on, and the cost of the incendiary bombs has to be compensated. After he was fully equipped, Luo Ning didn't hesitate, picked up the weapon box and walked towards the deep and dark mine. I don't know how long this mine has been abandoned, and it was occupied by Wendigo as a nest. Its environment can no longer be simply described as harsh. The muddy and slippery roads, the moss-covered rock walls, and the unfavorable I know how to describe the stench and rotten smell. This kind of smell can almost be included in the category of poison gas attack, that is, Luo Ning's physical fitness is strong enough, if you change to an ordinary person, I am afraid that he will suffocate after a long time. Even so, Luo Ning also has a way to open the weapon box and take a the urge for a gas mask. But after thinking about it, I gave up. Although the smell was unbearable, it didn't cause any real harm. Wearing a gas mask was of little significance, but it was not conducive to combat. Resisting the stench, Ronan continued to move forward on the muddy road, going for nearly 100 meters, but he still found no trace of Wendigo. But he was not anxious. Judging from the signal from the locator, this mine was extremely deep and the internal environment was intricate. The group of Wendigos were hidden in it, and it was not so easy to find. Fortunately, Ronan doesn't need to search for it deliberately. This is Wendigo's lair. When outsiders invade, they will act as soon as possible. Help. The sharp cry for help came, and Luo Ning paused, then speeded up and rushed in the direction of the source of the sound. Trap? That's for sure, but Ronan doesn't care. Wendigo is tall and there are no trees in this mine for them to climb. If they want to set up an ambush, they must choose a place that is open enough to ensure that they are capable of collective action, attacking, and besieging targets. As long as the terrain is open enough, these Wendigo traps will not pose much threat to Ronan, and may even be beneficial to his counterattack. Even if the estimate is wrong, the Wendigo's ambush location is narrow and cramped, and it is not conducive to action, it does not matter, just throw two incendiary bombs to isolate the battlefield, and then use a pistol to call them one by one. This mine was very deep. First, a main mine was inserted straight into the mountainside, and then with this main mine as the center, dozens of branch mines were opened, and some of these branch mines were still connected to the together, many interconnected entrances and exits are formed, which is really intricate. This kind of terrain is not much worse than a maze, or even worse, because there is no lighting in this mine, and the oxygen is very thin. Most people get lost here and I am afraid that it will take a few hours to become an icy cold. Corpse Although Luo Ning's five senses are powerful, he can't see things in a dark environment without lighting. Fortunately, the weapon box is very functional. In addition to storing weapons and equipment and using it in melee combat, it can also be illuminated when necessary. After turning on the lights in the weapon box, Ronan continued to move in the direction of the source of the cry for help. As the distance got closer, the sound became clearer and his footsteps became slower. In the end, Luo Ning stopped his steps, and the cry for help also stopped. The deep mine cave fell into dead silence again. The silent darkness deeply suppressed people's hearts. Oh! But for a moment, the dead silence was broken again by the sound of deep breathing. 
Luo Ning looked around with the weapon case, and found that he had come to a node of a mine. This node is connected to several branch mines, and the ore mined from each branch mine will be transported here, and then transported out of the cave in a unified manner, so the terrain is relatively open, except for the connection to each mine, there are roughly 10 square meters of open spaces used to place ores. With the help of this node and the surrounding branch mines, the Wendigos set up a simple and practical trap. Under the dim light of the weapon box, one could vaguely see thin, withered, but still tall figures walking out of the various mine tunnels, surrounded by Luoning in all directions. In those turbid and yellow eyes, there is undisguised greed and hunger. Ho! 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 The low breathing sounded, and the siege had formed, but this group of Wendigos did not attack immediately, as if they were waiting for something. And Luo Ning didn't act rashly. He looked around and counted the number of enemies. Seven, eight, nine, no. Ten. The unexpected number made Luo Ning frown slightly. Because of their habits, Wendigos rarely form groups, and even if they do, the number will not be too large, because the leader of the group, the oldest Wendigo, needs its powerful spiritual power to suppress abide by the feeding instincts of other Wendigos to prevent them from killing and devouring each other. An elder Wendigo's spiritual power also has an upper limit. Generally speaking, the number of Wendigos that elder Wendigo can control will never exceed ten. If there are more than ten, it means that elder Wendigo's spiritual strength has broken through the boundaries, and is about to be promoted to a more terrifying second-order creature the Dark Troll. Now that the number of Wendigos in this group has exceeded 10, doesn't that mean that Elder Wendigo has completed the advancement? Looking at Wendigo, who was ready to go, but did not dare to move rashly, Ronan frowned and said nothing. The Dark Troll who has been promoted is an extremely powerful leader creature. There is no reason to hide in the lair, and only dispatch his men to deal with him as an intruder. UU reading www.uu Ganshu Calm the biggest possibility is that Elder Wendigo is in the midst of advanced or weak after advanced, so there is no way to get out. And now these Wendigos do not take the initiative to attack, I am afraid it is also to delay the time, waiting for the Elder's advancement to complete or the state to recover. If these Wendigos can't be solved before the Wendigo Elder can free up his hands, then the situation will be very bad for Ronan. With this thought in mind, Luo Ning stopped delaying flicked his index finger, pressed the switch on the handle of the weapon case, and then threw it to the ground. The moment the weapon box fell to the ground, strong incandescent light shone out, shooting in all directions, illuminating the dark mine as if it were daylight. Ho! Oh. The strong rays of light, although unable to cause damage to Wendigo, seriously stimulated them, and the meager rationality instantly devoured them frantically, roaring and charging at Ronan. Seeing this, Ronan was not polite, four grenades flew out, fell into the gap between the group of Wendigos charging, and exploded. Luo Ning uses offensive grenades, also known as high explosive grenades, which mainly use the high temperature and high pressure gas generated during the explosion to kill the target, with an effective killing radius of about 2 meters. Four grenades were thrown out and thrown into the charge gap of the group of Wendigos. Suddenly there was a loud roar, and a large amount of high temperature and high pressure gas formed a shock wave, which overturned these Wendigos one by one, although it did not cause any substance. Sexual damage, but the formation was instantly disrupted. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Luo Ning picked up two holy waters and poured them all into his mouth, but he didn't swallow it immediately, just put it in his mouth, and then put the shotgun aside and pulled out a cold light from his waist with both hands. Silver Eagle In the face of Wendigo, a monster with strong physical fitness and damage immunity, the attack effect of the grenade was not ideal. Luo Ning just pulled out the pistol, and Wendigo, whose heads were overturned by the explosion, climbed up. Although the Wendigos are savage and bloodthirsty extraordinary creatures, their groups also have the most basic social structure. The oldest and most powerful elder Wendigo, as the leader, dominates the entire race. 
Under the leader are the elites, which are composed of the stronger Wendigos in the group. They are mainly responsible for fighting against powerful creatures, and they are equivalent to soldiers. Under the elite are servants, the weakest and the lowest in status. On weekdays, they are not only responsible for hunting, providing food for the entire group, but also shouldering the heavy responsibility of stockpiling food, which can be described as extremely miserable. Although most of the Wendigalis besieging Ronan are Wendigo slaves, there are also a few Wendigo elites. These Wendigo elites are the backbone of the entire Wendigo tribe. Compared with Wendigo slaves, they are not only stronger in body, more agile in action, but also have enhanced mysterious characteristics. The grenade thrown by Ronan could only stun the Wendigo slaves, and it had little effect on these Wendigo elites. Soon they got up and charged again. These Wendigo elites were extremely fast, and in the blink of an eye, they pulled the distance between the two sides to an extremely dangerous situation. At this distance, Ronan could no longer use the grenade again, otherwise it would definitely affect him. Fortunately, Luoning had no plans to continue throwing grenades. Silver Eagle's muzzle was raised, and he didn't need to aim too much. With his gun sense and his own strong perception trained in his mercenary career for decades, he locked it in an instant. The trajectory of a few Wendigo elites, and then pull the trigger. Boom! A deafening roar sounded in this dark and deep mine, shaking the air and the mountain walls, and the roars from all directions were also drowned at this moment. Boom! With the gorgeous crimson gun flame pouring out, the fastest Wendigo rushed out in an instant, and fell heavily on the ground behind like a sandbag. The strong impact was like a giant hammer. It was as if a heavy blow had hit it, extremely terrifying. The bonus of magic shooting has raised the Silver Eagle's already powerful power to an extremely terrifying situation, that is, Wendigo's mysterious characteristics have reduced most of the damage for it, otherwise it would be as simple as knocking down and knocking it down. Half-body is possible. Even so, it suffered a lot of damage, fell to the ground and howled, but as an elite, under the influence of Elder Wendigo's mental power, it was not like the Wendigo in the forest before. The servant was so unbearable, still struggling to get up and attacking Ronan again. At this time, Ronan had no way to refire it, because now he was not facing a Wendigo attack, but a whole group. While this Wendigo elite was knocked down, other Wendigo in the direction approached quickly, not giving him a chance to focus on the same target at all. However, Ronan has no plans to set fire. With the speed of these Wendigos, if he really dares to set fire to kill, he is afraid that just after killing one, he will be drowned by the Wendigos rushing up from all directions. So the moment the first bullet was fired, he shifted the muzzle. Boom! There was another roar, and a Wendigo attacked from behind was hit by Ronan's bullet, and the whole thing smashed out, and then the dazzling gun flame poured out again, roaring one after another, without stopping making the two sides approaching from left and right. Diego was also knocked to the ground in the roar and wailing. Two meters, this is the cordon of Ronan. Any Wendigo who approaches this distance will give priority to strikes. The roar of the Silver Eagle rang out one after another, echoing in this dark and humid cave, that disgusting sound. The stench was gradually concealed by the permeable smell of gunpowder smoke. As dark blue quality equipment, the Silver Eagle not only has amazing lethality, but also has a very powerful knockback effect. This is especially true for Wendigos. Although their strong bodies make it difficult for bullets to penetrate, but at the same time it also enhances the force of the bullets, so that each bullet can cause a very powerful shock and knockback effect on them, and even the whole bomb blasts out. After using the magic shot, the shock effect has been significantly improved. Even the most powerful Wendigo elite can be blasted away by Ronan with one shot, and the weaker Wendigo servants do not need to be having said that, after the bombing, he will fall to the ground and mourn for a while, and then he can struggle to continue to charge. In this way, relying on the advantage of the weapon, Ronan forcibly suppressed the charging of ten Wendigos. In the shocking roar of the Silver Eagle, 
these Wendigos were repelled again and again and could never pass. The line of fire composed of Ronan's double guns. However, facing the roar of the Silver Eagle, the ten Wendigos did not have the slightest fear, and rushed towards Ronan as if they were dead. Ning's companion who fell to the ground with a single shot was completely different. This is the influence brought by Elder Wendigo. This kind of leader-level extraordinary creature has acquired extremely powerful spiritual power through the accumulation of long years. Relying on this powerful spiritual power, Elder Wendigo can not only suppress Wendigo's desire to eat and form a Wendigo tribe, but also stimulate Wendigo's spirit and make these monsters enter a state similar to Berserk. In a frenzied state, Wendigo's strength and speed will be greatly improved, and his tolerance for pain will also be greatly increased, becoming a bloodthirsty beast that is not afraid of pain. Although Ronan's bullets can knock them down and injure them, they are not lethal, and they cannot even be paralyzed. After being hit, it only takes five or six seconds for them to get up again. Continue fighting. At this time, Luo Ning's situation is like a reef in a storm. The wind swept the waves and roared, and slammed into him fiercely. Although it finally smashed into pieces, the waves rolled up by the sea were endless. Infinite, as long as the storm does not stop, he will eventually be submerged. Ding! There was a soft sound, the sound of the last cartridge falling to the ground. The magazine was emptied, but Luo Ning's movements did not linger at all. He released his hands and threw the two silver eagles that had emptied the magazine aside without hesitation. Ho! Oh. The bullets were emptied, and there were gaps in the continuous fire suppression. The Wendigos naturally would not miss such an opportunity. The two remaining Wendigo elites launched the attack first, and the remaining Wendigo servants followed closely. Afterwards, Ronan is bound to be thrown down. The previous to go for made these Wendigos who charged at Ronan's guns pay a very painful price. Two of the four Wendigo elites who rushed to the front had become corpses, and the rest were scarred. Wounded. In comparison, although the six Wendigo servants had fewer attrition, there were still four, but their injuries were even more serious. Some of them even had their legs and feet broken by Ronan. Not a threat at all. But at such a price, the Wendigos did not gain anything. They not only used up Ronan's ammunition, but also brought the distance between the two sides to an extremely dangerous level. At this time, the distance between the two Wendigo elites and Ronan was less than two meters. At the speed of the Wendigo elite, this distance can be said to be almost instantaneous, even if Ronan still has two silver eagles to spare. The time to draw the gun was enough for two Wendigo elites to knock him down. Therefore, at the first moment, Ronan did not choose to draw his gun, but kicked it violently, kicking the weapon box under his feet heavily. The strength of this foot was so great that it even burst out with dazzling sparks. It was the result of the collision between the steel plate inlaid on Ronan's riding boots and the weapon case. Afterwards, the weapon case weighing 35 kilograms was like a like a huge top, it spun heavily and flew out. Under Ronan's intentional relaxation, the Wendigo elite that rushed towards him was the least injured and the most full of all Wendigos, so it was the fastest, so fast that it could even beat itself. Some can't control it. It still didn't realize what was going on. The weapon box that was spinning and flying like a top rushed to its feet and the powerful force directly knocked it over to the ground, with the two Wendigos behind it. Slaves were not spared either. Such an attack, as far as Wendigo is concerned, cannot cause any effective damage, but what Ronan wants is not damage, but time. When the weapon box flew out, Ronan spun back, turned behind him, and pulled out the third silver eagle. The icy muzzle instantly locked the Wendigo elite who flew from behind. Without the weapon box to block, Ronan would definitely be attacked by these two Wendigo elites, and he would fall into an extremely dangerous situation. But now if this is not true, there is no threat of two buns, this Wendigo elite flying towards Ronan is completely a gun target that is delivered to the door. At such a close distance, it is impossible to even aim. Unnecessary. Boom. There was a loud bang 
roaring and shaking, and there seemed to be a layer of ripples in the void. This Wendigo elite, which was already scarred, was shot and flew out by Ronan. The tall and thin body was in the air. Before he could feel the blazing pain, he was hit by two bullets that followed. In the end, only a dead body fell to the ground. Ho! Oh. Seeing that another companion died under Ronan's gun, the Wendigo elite who was knocked down by the weapon box let out a terrifying roar, got up with both hands and feet, and rushed towards Ronan like a mad beast. Rush away! However, what responded to it was a cold and strong roar, Luoning exerted strength under his feet, and turned back again, the hand holding the gun was as calm and calm as before, and the pair of black eyes showed no fluctuation at all. Cold, insensitive, as precise, and cold as a machine, locking the Wendigo elite who was flying in, and pulling the index finger on the trigger. Boom! There was another roar, and the Wendigo elite who flew over flew out again, knocked to the ground like a sandbag, and then, without waiting for it to struggle to get up, Ronan, who had no other Wendigo elite to hinder the threat, made progress. It was three shots, and the magic-wrapped bullets burst out with powerful kinetic energy, directly piercing its head, bursting its flesh and blood, leaving an unrecognizable corpse. Ho! Oh. Oh. Ho! All the four Wendigo elites were killed, which made the remaining Wendigo servants feel great fear. They roared, but did not dare to charge again. The trembling body had already thought of retreating and fleeing. Roar! At this moment, a deep roar suddenly came from the depths of the mine, which penetrated into the ears of several Wendigo slaves as if it were real, and made them, who were already about to collapse, show a bloodthirsty and cruel look again. A siege was reformed around Ronan. Seeing this, Ronan's reaction was also very calm. He raised his hand and pulled the trigger. Amid the roar of gunfire and the diffuse smoke, Several Wendigos who could no longer pose a threat to him rushed towards him. Kill target the battle is over experience gained, 180 plus 54, additional 30% increase, prestige gained, 180 plus 54, additional increase of 30%. Battle rating, D battle evaluation, this is a gorgeous gunfire show. As the last Wendigo slave died and fell to the ground, the reminder of the UU reading www.uuganshu.com system sounded as promised, bringing a small surprise to Ronan. Level rating, 30% experience and prestige bonus, still a whole battle, 4 Wendigo elites and 6 Wendigo minions settle the overall increase together. Although it was said that after the system was turned on, Luo Ning studied it carefully, and basically all the functions were clarified, but after all, there was no actual combat, and there were inevitably some omissions. Only now did Ronan know that the battle score was not calculated solely after killing a single target, but was calculated based on the overall performance of the entire battle. What's the difference? The difference is huge. Take this battle as an example. If you kill a Wendigo, you will calculate the battle score once. In the end, Ronan will definitely not get a level evaluation. After all, there is only one monster in total. No matter how you play, it is impossible to play flowers. If you can't get a high score, then the final experience and prestige will be less, and the harvest will be reduced. On the other hand, if the battle score is calculated based on a battle, then Ronan can improve the score by fighting with a large number of targets, and finally the improved score will increase the overall benefit and finally gain a lot of experience and prestige. This is also an incentive method. After all, the difficulty of dueling and siege are completely different. If the reward level is not adjusted, who would choose a difficult challenge? High risk, high return, this is reasonable.